Welcome to AI Abuse Insights, where we hope and grow through action by doing something positively each day to impact people's lives. Good morning, everyone, and happy Saturday to you all. I hope that you're doing okay. And if you're new to my channel or you have been here but not yet subscribed, let me guide you through that process. Hit that red button that says subscribe. And when you hit that button, you'll see three bell appear on the right hand side. Hit the one at the top that looks like it's shaking. And once you do that, YouTube will notify you as soon as a new video is posted. All done? Right. All right. Let's get into it. Before I do, please bear with me. My voice is not at its best because I am still recovering from an illness. Okay. So the topic for today is purpose. We were all born with a purpose. Take the time to focus on your purpose and understand that your path is being guided by a higher power. It is not a power over in which someone else must be oppressed. It is the power of being present in a relationship of the oneness with the universe. It is the power of your faith in notion that if you seek guidance, you will initiatively know the next right step to take. It is the power of deeply knowing your spirit is fully entitled to the life that you have been given. Your purpose is not to be abused, yet many of us are victims of abuse. Not all abuse experiences are the same. Each person's experience is different. But all survivors have one job to do. And that one extra job is to work on regaining personal power to rebuild their relationship with their inner self to accomplish wholesomeness so when your memories take you down memory lane you can feel a sense of great inner strength within you without an emotional breakdown whatever your experience God plan for you remain on course there's a purpose for your life. I remember being told of a young man and it is alleged that his mother verbally abused him during childhood. She would always tell him, I quote, when you grow up you are going to become a thief, unquote. So the boy grew into a man and he became just that, a thief. When his mother found out, she was bitterly disappointed and guess his reply to her. You should be pleased because that was what you told me I would become. <laughs> so I say that to say this, many of you are still living on the indoctrination, living your life based on someone else's opinion of you and you are allowing it to manifest. I encourage you, don't allow your abuser to do the same to you. How about a new beginning with the grace of the higher power? Recovering from pain, disappointment, trauma, experiences of any kind don't happen at once to everyone. Some will forgive, allow healing and take life on Others are still trapped, believing that there's nothing for them. But let me tell you, there is something for everyone. There is something for you. And to discover your greatness, your something, you have to make the decision to let go. Some of the most accomplished human beings, past and present, to include Oprah Winfrey, Joyce Mayer, the late Maya Angelou, to name a few, are survivors of abuse, but they did not allow their past experience to park their lives. Instead, they used their mess and turned it into great messages, 
They have created legacies that generation to the next will benefit from. And you can do the same. That's my share with you today. Have a lovely day. God bless you. Thank you for watching. If you have not yet subscribed, be sure to do so as YouTube will notify you every time a new video is posted.